Cycling at night in Boston. A couple more pros and cons. Not many people out here. You got all the lanes and trails to yourself for the most part. Uh, but you got to be aware of your surroundings. This is inside safe zone two. This is that little stretch between Ruggles Northeastern and Mass Half T. Tendency for people to hang out there in, in, in groups uh, for long periods of time, if you know what I mean. Heads up on that. But one of the easier ways to ride at night, I suppose, is to uh, just hop into one of the uh, safe zones and just cruise around. This is um, inside zone two. We're going here just a little so you can see. You know, it's like 8.30 at night or something. People are playing tennis and hanging out. We'll go by the whole thing. You'll see there's a lot more going on as well. So again, on the gear, what we have here is uh, like a headlight, basically, on the handlebars. Let's see it here, I'll flick it off. And it can kind of change what it does. And then there's a red light on the back. So, not a bad option for cycling at night. Come on out here and uh, check out. They got all kinds of different activities going on. And you have the pass and the lanes to lean on. But, there's other considerations as well. You gotta be able to get out of here and get back to where you are. It's not gonna get any lighter until the morning. So, make sure you take that into account riding around at night <clears throat> have fun with it have a decent plan especially getting back exactly how you're going to do that